What's up? It's Vin Jimfield here. Today I'm going to give you a really good piece of advice how you're going to upload your videos to YouTube and get the best quality possible also saves a lot of time. See, normally you may have a, like a minute file and maybe in 4K and it will be like, I don't know, a couple of gigs at least and you have to upload all of that information over to YouTube. It takes a really long time. It's better to compress it before YouTube compresses it, saves time, plus you have a little more control. And I use something called Handbrake. It's a free video file converting program. And uh, you can see the address below where you can download it for free. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing illegal. It's absolutely free. And I'm going to show you some of the settings on my computer. How you can uh, uh, basically convert your files and uh, upload it to YouTube in the most effective way possible and get the best quality ever. So, here we go. So, here we go. So, I've started this uh, program called Handbrake, as you can see. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pick the file that's going to be edited. And I'm going to go with uh, the GoPro introduction, which I'm sure you've already seen. And uh, here is the file. And first thing I do is I click on this option. It's for a very fast conversion system. The X264 is pretty awesome. I really like it. And then I hit advanced. And I click on four referen reference frames. The audio I set to 128 because that's pretty much all you need. And then the last thing I do is I hit Web Optimized and I click Start. Now this may take a minute or two, but the point of it is that, yeah, exactly, it turns out that it's exactly two minutes. So this goes a lot faster. The file is about 3.5 gigs. I'm just going to check it out. It's, uh, it's actually the file that I'm editing right now is actually 3.5 gigs. Now imagine uploading 3.5 gigs to YouTube. It would take a while. And also not just to upload it, but then to process it because YouTube converts the files as well. So this goes a lot faster. I'm going to speed up this. Boom. And it's done. Now let's see how well it went. 121 megabytes, which is pretty freaking amazing compared to the original file file which is 3.5 gigs so we really did a good job and uh, quality you might ask what's the difference in quality well as you're probably gonna find out just gonna put these side by side the quality is actually pretty much the same sometimes you get a little bit of conversion but I'm telling you I couldn't tell the difference on these bad boys okay and there you have it we've successfully converted a really big file and made it much smaller so it will make it a lot quicker to upload to YouTube I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and hope it helps you somehow if you have any questions feel free to comment me on below the video down here somewhere here oh yeah and you got the like button there so perhaps you could click that too I don't know maybe if you feel like it if you don't it's cool too okay I'm, I'm done talking I'm just gonna leave this mother